Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Wackenhusen testing facility. The factory in Linz is just behind us and I'm here with Simon from Perkins Engine. Simon, you've invited me down to the factory um, to have a look at what you guys at Perkins have been doing with the team at Wackenhusen on these two machines in particular, the brand new EW100 and the brand new, we haven't even seen it yet in the UK, um, 45 dumper. And so the, the whole reason I've come here is to discover how the Perkins engines go into the factory, but also there's way more to it than just the assembly line, isn't there? Tell me about the relationship Perkins has had with the Wacker brand, and um, then we'll go and talk about a few more things that are the engines we can see today. You're absolutely right, Peter. So Wacker and Perkins have worked together and collaborated over the last 10 years on many machines, EW100, DV45 being the latest two, and it's built a great strategic relationship together. And I think one of the things that strikes me is when I talk to the engineers back in the factory, it starts with 3D modelling now, not paper drawings about what we're going to see happening. And that is when you start working at concept stage now, isn't it? It's way before you get to the line and we've got to fit an engine in. You're absolutely right, Peter. We have lots of resource available, both in Perkins and Wacker, and it's bringing that collaboration together. So we have technical integration workshops, we invite their engineers over or we visit them and we do real 3D design workshop, make sure the engine integration phase, there's no nasty surprises. And the other thing about all of this, we've talked about sustainability with the MD here at Lintz in a video that I'm gonna be putting out. And it's really about optimization. So every little drop of fuel counts right now. And we've got stage five engines from yourself in here but it's the optimization of the engine for the particular types of machine we're seeing. So the DV45 optimized for the kind of jobs that this is doing, isn't it? Yeah, you're absolutely right. So the DV45 is aimed at the UK market. So within the UK, you can see uh, that the legislations are getting tighter and tighter. So it really is a challenge, both from Wacker and Perkins, to make sure that the engine integration, the optimization, the sustainability and the efficiency is as tight as it can be. Yeah. The other thing for me is when we look at the EW100, it's a compact machine, but there's two engine types that you've worked with them in and still fitted both of them in the actual overall design of the standard machine. And that's really important. They haven't had to change anything, but they've got two different powerful engines in there, haven't they? Yeah, they have. So the EW100 has taken our 904J series. So they have the 3.6 in there and they also have the 2.8 in there. Now that allows them to, to customize and choose a power rating that's aimed at the Pacific customer that wants that machine. So it gives them that flexibility, that optimization. And of course, when we look at machines like this now, particularly EW100 behind me, we're actually looking at how we take these machines onto the job site that can be used for things like attachments, tilt rotators, a lot of hydraulic power is needed as well. And so, you know, I've talked to your fluids team recently and it's, it's, it is so complex to, to get the, the fluid movements around, to get the power in the right space and also look at how that flows around a machine as well. That's part of the modeling process again, isn't it? When you create new engines for these products. Yeah, so we touched on technical integration workshop that's earlier, and that's really what that's about, is pulling in all the expertise around the businesses to make sure that what we're putting into that machine is as efficient and optimised as it can be. Now, when we get these pieces of equipment on site, folks, obviously we're getting people using them and we've got to have people then maintaining them as well. And, you know, one of the things that is critical with a stage five engine is that, you know, you're using the right filters, you're using the right parts, the, the wearables mm -hmm. as such to protect that engine and make sure you're getting that optimum performance as well, isn't it? And so that process of turning the, the trainers from Perkins over here with the team to train the Wacker team to then train their trainers uh, uh, and their dealers are, is, is part of that whole rollout procedure, isn't it? Yeah, and that's part of the uh, great relationship we have with Wacker. It doesn't just stop at supplying an engine. We obviously give training out. We uh, have our product support teams lined up to uh, help support in the life of the field. And obviously we have a great service network that will also help support the, the customers in the end field. 
And what I noticed um, when I visited the, the factory is we've got different colours of machines as well. So we've got the wacky yellow, but we've mm -hmm. also got some big hire customers like Bulls Rentals, like Loxham, that they're actually making the, these machines for and putting their colours on so that they're recognisable on site. And, and that is, again, something that Perkins has been doing in the, the rental sector, supporting the fleet owners, um, which is really important from a perspective of how they can get the most out of the uptime of their fleet, isn't it? Perkins recognise that the rental pool and the rental market is such a big player for these big OEMs that we just we try and support any way we can in setting them up and getting them as much uptime for the end customer as possible. And of course, folks, it's all about optimization. When you put an engine in a DV45 or an EW100, um, and the engines are on the stage five now, but the engine testing and the, the ability to put loads on is all done in the actual creation process at Perkins, isn't it? Because you've got a, a facility at Peterborough that is state of the art, haven't you? Yeah, so we have a facility, uh, ERDC, it's our global development facility, has over 50 test beds in which that we you know, run the engines up, we test them, we validate them, we put them through real life cycles, duty cycles, and that's, that's not including the actual real world in life uh, machine testing that we do. So all this data goes in with thousands and thousands of hours of data goes into development of these engines to ensure they really are robust and meet all the customer requirements. And of course, then they're put into with the design team here, optimized for the different units. Uh, the EW100 obviously is a wheeled excavator, lots of different hydraulic power required. But this guy is a dumper. We need to get the skip filled and move to the next part of the site. Thank you, Peter.